this layout this is the layout and what exactly that we were going to do here we were going to put here a button over here and uh, uh, something like this when you uh, this is the button and when you click on a button a new activity will open and that will say uh, something like uh, welcome with your name your name so it's very simple to pass an intent and here uh, that I am going to use the intent the intent that I am going to use here implicit sorry explicit there is uh, one more type that is known as implicit so at the first uh, we will look for the explicit then we will move uh, then we, uh, I will explain you what how to pass implicit intent so let us start just drag and drop over here a button uh, and this is the button and as you can see uh, you can see the width and height of this particular component that is the button component and uh, one more thing uh, don't forget to save your application and uh, uh, see here uh, just blue over here there is one more options that is known as the main.xml so click on this main.xml you will find here the xml code for this of a button and see the first one the linear layout so basically it's a linear layout with an orientation of vertical Linear means whenever you place a new component, see I am placing one more component over here, it will it's placed uh, just below this button. Something uh, is known as the in a row. Because the orientation is the vertical. Okay, so if I am using here instead of vertical, uh, see if you delete it and if you use uh, uh, horizontal, see. Uh, you can use this uh, hint, a dictionary of hint by just pressing CTRL plus space. You will give, uh, it will give you an appropriate hint starting with H O. So I am just selecting the horizontal, horizontal, and as you can see when I move here, see the com button component placed in a column format. But uh, as a beginner. Uh, we particularly use a vertical so this is the vertical design and as you can see here this is the uh, look out uh, this button uh, the height and width wrap content both the height and the width is the wrap content it means that it means that this component is wrapped with uh, a appropriate size and font size of your with the name of button so if you want to increase the width either you can pass a value so if, if I'm passing here a value uh, say a 300 dp dp means the density pixel density pixel so 
if I'm passing a 300 dp, see the size. So it's the size of the 300 dp. And if I'm putting here uh, once again the 300 dp, once again you can see it's a 300 dp, the size of this button. But uh, actually we didn't need the height, so I'm just putting here one more thing you can do. Uh, here is the one fi fill parent. If you're choosing this fill parent, see what actually it's happening. It's cover the complete layer. It means fill the parent. Parent means the, uh, here the parent is the linear layout. So fill the height with the height of the parent. That is the height of the linear layout. So this is also not feasible. So I'm just putting here one more thing. I'm putting here sorry the wrap content. So it will wrap with the button. Okay. So the second thing once more here I'm once again using the wrap content. See, this is the wrap content. But I need here size that will wrap the linear layout, parents width. So for this you can either use this one uh, here the toggle width, fill width. When you save it, you will get this. It's a match parent. Means the, match the width with the width of the parent. So in this way you can change the shape and uh, size of your button. Uh, it's uh, totally depend on you when you work with the uh, graphical user interface. So the second thing there are two way to change this uh, the properties see these are the properties this is the tag and sorry uh, properties of the attribute this, these are the attributes this is uh, uh, by default available whenever you drag and drop a button over there so actually I need to change the text this is appearing here okay so I'm just putting here a text uh, click me as you can see this is this change to the click me. One more thing if you want to change the name from uh, uh, user interface uh, <coughs> sorry component name just make a right click over here see here you will find some attribute by default attributes this is the edit text and just uh, here move to the new string and just type a string I'm typing here a name uh, click and uh, I'm typing here and capital I'm typing click me what exactly it means okay, actually this this is the resource r dot string that comes under this value here when you okay is something right right liking string string click and this is the click me something right like lighting this so this is the variable and this is its value. So when you click OK and when you select uh, this one, you will get the same thing. Okay. Now, if you want to change the size, and uh, you can right click over here, then go to other properties and inherit it from inherit it from text view, and here search for okay uh, other properties inherit from text view. See, there is a there is an attribute with text size. You can change the size. I'm changing the 25 dp. Sorry, in a small letter. I'm typing a dp. And see the size of this. Moreover, if you want to change this size, you can also change it from directly from here or put it here. See, uh, it's something like this has happened. Just close your main to XML and open it once again. And here I'm changing it to 20 dp. See, it's a 20 dp. Okay next thing if you want to change the color so here is an attribute just type here Android and then text color okay so here you can put the HTML color code that is also known as the hash code you can go for any website google.com and I'm just putting here HTML color codes. See here, uh, you will get here the hash code of HTML color. See, see this chart. If I'm putting here, uh, if I want to put this particular color, right? See, just copy it and uh, paste it here, followed followed by hash. Save it. See, you will get it, some 
different color over here okay now if you want to change the background see by default when you open the drawable this is the IC underscore launcher.png picture available here and if I want to say, uh, set this as a background you just need to do one thing just inside this linear tag linear layout tag type here PSEK and control plus spacebar see background and one second control plus spacebar you will get a drawable and then the IC underscore launcher that is the name of this particular PNG file okay so just save it and then graphicals this is the background okay now all this that we need to do once again and open your intent.demo and this one so what exactly we were going to do see we are having a button with the component name button. and we need to wind this button here so that uh, we will uh, we will perform some action or some listener that we can add, add over here so open this intent demo activity and declare a button over here it will be the same name that you will find here see if you this is its component name is button a component means it's a class with some state and behavior so here just type b u t control plus a space bar it will give you a hint of button and why i'm doing this because uh, actually the button comes under a certain package as you can see here when you uh, click on a plus this is a plus minus plus minus here uh, if you want to use a button component you need to import its uh, particular package and uh, suppose if we don't know the what uh, in which exactly uh, what is the exact name of that particular package you can do one thing just type but control plus the space bar see the package is android dot widgets so select it see automatically it will import you a button and I'm typing here btn I'm giving it a object reference variable name click okay now move inside your on create method this is something known as the declaration and here inside the on create method I'm going to initialize this button that is I am going to bind this particular button here how just type btn click and then cast the particular component that is coming from main.xml here okay so here I'm typing I'm casting whatever coming from the main.xml to save it and then I'm just once again opening it and this is the button okay now what I need to cast suppose this time we are just having a burn button maybe you may have a n number of button over here so how your activity is going to recognize the particular button for this see when you go to the main.xml see here this particular syntax that is this, this is a syntax of ID of a button by default the ID of a button is button 1 suppose if you are taking one more button over here like this see its ID its ID is button 2 by default so in this way your activity class is going to recognize your particular component by its respective ID so here as we know the ID of this button is button 1 and here you need to call a method name with find control by spacebar see it's, it will automatically give you the find view by id and here type capital r that is the resource particularly this one r see here r then dot id dot c button one this is the component automatically when you move to the here it will automatically see this is the r dot id dot button same as r dot layout dot main so in this way you can bind the xml component button into your activity now uh, thanks for watching uh, in the next we will uh, uh, explore more something about intents